<laughs> Hello everybody, this is Nikki Gordon Bloomfield. And I'm Mark Chatterley. And this is the episode of Charged Up involving the Nissan Leaf Techna. 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 This is the, uh, the high-end Leaf. Yes. essentially, um, which is made in Sunderland if you're living in Europe. Um, if you live in North America, it's made in Smyrna, Tennessee. Um, if you're living in Japan, it's still made at the original factory in, in Japan. Um, the thing to bear in mind about this car is that it is called Tecna because it's fully loaded with all the gadgets. So look, we've got all round cameras which you can't see because I'm going too fast now. You are going too fast. Uh, it's, that's, that's pretty pointless, I must say. Um, it, it, it cuts in, or it cuts out, above seven miles an hour, I think it is. Yeah. Which I, I think must be 10 kilometers an hour. So we can put it we in go. now. So you can see that's the car behind us, right, left, and front. Really useful when you're parking, bugger all use at any other point. I could see, I, in the, it's a city car, but I could see in, where I am there's lots of country lanes and you sometimes have to pull over and go into bushes it would be quite useful then yeah, I'll, for knowing I'll grant you that the, so there are a few cases and I suppose in a city you might need to weave in and out of traffic but it, it's a, I suppose with a lot of things in this car it's gadgets for the sake of gadgets 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 I do like the leather seats yes leather seats all round not fully leather. There's a little bit of fabric down here in there between are, the seats. There are, which I'm hoping is because of eco-ness. Yeah. Um, what, what I do find, um, you, the leather seats are heated. You said they're heated. It's a really weird, they pulse. Yes, it, it, they it, get it warm goes... and then they cold. And and my heated steering wheel just got really hot sitting at the traffic lights there. Okay. Whereas, you know, earlier on today, I noticed it was getting cold. And I don't... Which is just, is, is that normal for heated seats? I don't, I don't know. For them to pulse on and off, because you kind of go, ooh, thank you, thank lady. You. It's really warm. And then you go, oh no, it's cold bum, cold bum, cold. Oh, it's warm again. Yes, yes. And um, of course, as, as the lady interrupted us, sat nav, same yeah. as the original Leaf. Yeah. Um, got some added things on here. Uh, you can search by POI now. You can, I will do that. Which is POI. Uh, POI powered by Google, which is great, because if you're going to a restaurant or a a, a landmark yeah or anywhere really that has a has a business name you can actually tap that into the into the sat nav before you leave and it will take you to that point i do love the heated seats i do love the leather i think it's worth paying extra for leather if you like leather certainly more durable than the the horrible white plastic bottle interior of the existing leaf what else does it have uh well it's got the cruise control and the speed limiter which it doesn't yeah. have in the in the vizier they are also standard on the uh, Ascenta. Automatic uh, headlights and wipers on this one, which obviously you don't have on the other models. Yeah, and that is, that is very nice. Uh, sorry, I was just using the speed limiter. I use that a lot. You have the kick down function, which you don't have on the, on the Vizier. And will the kick down function, will it um, override the limiter? Yeah. It's got a new driving mode new driving mode called Eco and B. B. So Eco's been moved from the gear lever onto this little, you can't see it, but there's a there's button, a extra button. button on the steering wheel. Yep. Okay. And in addition, just let that motorbike pass so he doesn't bash me. In addition, uh, you've got the, the B mode here, which simulates engine braking. Yeah. And you can hold this car going downhill. It, it, without touching the pedals, which I love. It makes the car maybe 75% one pedal driving yeah and i do like one pedal driving so yeah. you lift off the accelerator and the car slows down for you yeah which is lovely isn't it, it isn't it and it applies quite a lot of regen quite aggressively it, it's yes. not it's not the most aggressive it could be but <clears throat> i mean i know and a lot of eco people will know that the best use of energy is coasting but that's not always possible in and around the town and aggressive regen is actually quite useful and you know the the, the nice thing about how this this car uh, handles the regen is that you know it, it gives you in B mode you you don't have to have eco engaged to have engine braking there are a couple of things mark that I noticed that were different to this car first of all the steering is heavier oh I, yes the bane of my life in what this do you car. mean the bane of your well, life I, I, I really really like one of the things that attracted me to the leaf was that effortless feel of driving okay. it 
and and that's one of the things that still sticks out for me from my test drive that I did, the five minute test drive we all had to make the decision on, which is how lovely the steering was. And now I find myself weaving in and out of traffic and on my my um, country lanes, actually weaving put, in and out of traffic on country lanes. Oh yeah, having to put <laughs> effort into turning. You've and been playing Grand Theft Auto a bit too much. I right? have a bit too much. Uh, but seriously, yeah, that steering is a lot heavier. I like it. I quite like the feel. Okay. The, I do prefer the lighter steering, but it's not heavy, so heavy that I don't like it. You know, it's kind of, yeah, I can get used to this. This is, I, I'll get used to this. This is fine. This is steering I can deal with. It, it makes me, I suppose in my head, I like the ideas that the EVs have something different, are different to drive, and it feels too much like a petrol car right with that steering okay it does i i don't know if it's a trade-off of that but the car does feel a lot more stuck to the road a lot more centered solid. yeah solid on the road the techna obviously does come with six kilowatt charging yeah uh which can charge you in stupidly short amounts of time from a type 2 charging station yeah about four, four hours. hours from yeah. empty to full um, and it's pessimistic. I noticed this. It's charging, you know, estimations are really pessimistic. They've always been a bit pessimistic, though, it's charging estimations. And that leads into the, the this range of Leafs. Leafs seem to have a much more solid battery. I, they just, it seems to give you more. Well, I think it's the drive. I think it's the drivetrain. Um, more than anything else. Yes. And obviously this has the cold weather pack. It's worth noticing in the in the winter, uh, this one will heat the battery up. But in order to keep, in order to really benefit from that, you need to have an outdoor temperature below minus 10, is it? Yeah, it's, it's quite low. It's lower than it ever usually gets in the general UK. And I know yeah. there are exceptions to that. But There's oh, an awkward hump here is annoying me now. There's an awkward hump. I think it's in both models actually. Yeah. I think it might be the heating cables. I think they may have changed the floor pan slightly. And I think there's slightly more room in the back as well. Wouldn't like to guess, but you know. Yeah, you, you said that from the beginning when you first saw it. So it, it would be interesting to test it out. The other thing to bear in mind is the heater on this. The new, it's got the heat exchanger, yeah. which the Vizier doesn't. Um, and, and it's really efficient. You know, the battery is full. It's 16 degrees outside it says if i turn climate control on i'll lose five miles of range and that's at 22 degrees and that's at 22 degrees now in on my my leaf it was double digits yeah on my leaf, that, that would digits. usually be on my on my leaf whenever i turn it on it's about 15 miles instantly disappears if not yeah. more uh, and and that is that is something that's been programmed into the car that's not really a calculation it's kind of a you turn heating on therefore you're taking off this much but it is an indication of how much range you're mm -hmm. losing over a whole battery pack which is you know I, I think I could live with either the old heater or the new heater I suppose because I got used to the old heater yeah you just but I do more. like I, I must admit you know coming back in the Vizier the other night uh, from from Cardiff I wished that I'd have been in this leaf I was I was kind of ah, I should have taken that leaf uh -huh. first Mark should have got the other one first um, and I did I, the first time I drove the the Tecna uh, th this car driving around it was six degrees outside I didn't have the heating on but heated seats and the steering wheel and I was perfectly warm you had to toasty warm yeah. I, I felt warm it was very nice well, it's all about keeping your core body warm isn't it The other thing we didn't mention is that it's it, the remote control for the for the key for the for the front of the car it now unlocks the charge ports. So there's now an extra button, At which the there isn't on the on the other car on the older models. Yeah, uh, which will pop it open. That's lovely because you have to grope around in the dark underneath. And there's a light which there wasn't. Before. Oh, the little light! The man who delivered the car was so proud of that little light. <laughs> And there's the lock, auto lock. You can actually yeah. lock your charge cable into position. Now we've discovered it doesn't work with some of the charging cables on the market, but most of them it will lock the cable yeah. in, meaning no one will steal it. Although that's not something I've ever had an issue with. Uh, but no, I haven't. Having looked at forums, it is that people have been unplugged. So yeah, yeah. having that ability without having to mess around with a padlock or a combination mm -hmm. lock is actually very useful. Yeah. Regenerative braking, you get green dots instead of white dots. When we're getting into tiny minutia here, which we wouldn't yeah. normally do on, on, on charged up, but um, I, I, I guess it's because we've been we've driving we've driven yeah. these cars, we know these cars really well. 
the Bose sound system in this it's car. It's good. I don't know if it's worth all that extra. That's, that's exactly my view on it. I was all and I, I and I'm a classically trained musician. Yeah. Maybe I don't listen to the right sort of beats. I eagerly put my music onto and I found the bassiest tracks I own, which aren't a lot. Usually I'm a Radio 4 kind of person. And I put and I eagerly plugged in. I was like, this is going to be amazing. It's going to blow my mind. It's a you mean you're not a dubstep guy. No, no and dubstep. I press play and I was like. I'm not sure I can actually tell the difference. I can tell the difference. There is a discernible difference, but the sound system in the Leaf is okay. I wouldn't have said it's the greatest. The the one thing that I appeared to me is that this the Bose sound system seems to sound, center the sound on me more as oh, a yeah, driver. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. Whereas in the Leaf that I'm driving and the lower end Leaf that we've we've just done. The sound seems two to come three from weeks the ago. two or three weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> comes from the centre of the car, yep. and you're hearing it mostly on one side. Oh, sorry, I accidentally beat the horn you there. You did beat the horn. But that's something I noticed. The horn is different. Oh, I'm sure. I'm convinced the Vizier horn is a different sound to my Leaf horn, but that one sounds the same as my Leaf. We will so be trying that. The boot space again is bigger because it doesn't have that hump there. But it does have the bow sound. But it does have the bow so sound. This one actually has a slightly smaller chunk space because you wouldn't want to put something heavy on it or something that I might potentially spill yeah, yeah yeah i mean maybe nissan should make a little cover that Just would that would work maybe someone's going to develop one i don't know but isn't that where the bass sound comes from i, I have no idea <laughs> i'm going to plead ignorance on that one okay plead complete and utter and total ignorance all around it's it's a nice car it's 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 a leaf yeah, with everything put yeah. into it. All the toys are in this car. Yes. The question is though, are the auto headlights and the auto wipers and the doodads and the whatchamacallits and the everything else worth paying £5,000 more over the base model? Oh, no. No. You see, I'm torn. I love the Vizier. I think the Vizier is a great entry level leaf. Would I want it if someone said to me, here's £5,000? Yeah. You can keep it in the bank or buy extra, the extra bits? I'd I, put it in the bank. I, I do like this feel. I do like the leather seats. It's, it's the leather seats that do it for me. Yeah, see, I, leather seats the heated leather really seats. don't bother me. I don't me care at all. about the fact they're leather. I care about the fact that they're heated. <laughs> All right, it's about the heated leather seats. Um, you like a warm bum. I like a warm arse. It's a leaf. It's a leaf that they've stuck stuffed every gadget in. The the best gadget, from my point of view, is the all-around cameras. I mm -hmm. really like mm -hmm. that. It's, as you said, it's probably got very limited use in real life. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, having used it, for me, getting on and off of my driveway and having had my other half scratch the back of my leaf a few times... It would have so you're saying it's worth paying five thousand pounds for marital bliss? Yeah, for marital bliss, I'd pay five hundred pounds. Five thousand. But for, uh, not not for all the toys. This is where I'm torn because while I love the fact that all the toys are in this car, I don't need every single okay. one of them. Okay. So should Nissan do what Tesla does and go? This is a base model. It's going to cost you fifteen grand, and if you want the extra bits, you can actually build to order. Yes. And and seeming a lot of these things that they are. That, that you have are um, built in extra. You can't add in the extra charger. Austin. It's very old car. Austin. But you, Gorgeous. You can't build in the six kilowatt charger after you've got the car. It's no. a factory built optional extra. So I don't see why it should be that difficult to have everything like that and just say, yeah, this is the base model car and I want it to have all around sensors and this charger. I don't need Chadamo and I don't need the new heater. You see, I would like the new heater and the heated leather seats and the heated steering wheel because I do a lot of long distance driving yeah. in the winter. But I don't really care about this and I don't really care about the pearlescent finish on this. <laughs> and, that and is the, I think that is the most- um, Bling. Yeah, the silliest update. We've got this piece of plastic. We need to make it look better. Oh, pearlescent. Let's make it pearlescent black. Midnight Pearlescent. And that's what I, I bet that's what it's called. Midnight something. <laughs> um, but but you know, in all in all honesty, this car is is perfectly capable, um, perfectly adaptable, perfectly usable as an EV. If I had unlimited money, it's an eight out of ten. But the facts 
that I don't think everything that's in this car is worth the price of this car. I think it's a 7 out of 10. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think the price of it knocks it down a little. So, guess what I think? I'm going to go, because it's got leather seats in your heated bum, you're going to go a 9 out of 10. No, I'm going to go 7 too. Oh, are you just copying me? So, that's me. 14 out of 10. In terms of offering drivability, I, I, I'm like you. I can't see how all this extra stuff is worth five grand more. It's come to, a, come to a head this week with me because my my iPhone doesn't work with this particular head unit. It doesn't work properly, but it works with the Vizier base unit happily as Larry. Ah, uh, yeah. So the, the more basic the unit, it seems, the more <laughs> likely it's going to be to work and continue to work. Um, so, you know, I, I can't complain. I really cannot complain. I think this is the future, uh, but maybe not unless you've got lots of spare cash yeah and if you do buy, buy it, a Tesla it's <laughs> yeah but if you've got that much cash buy a Tesla but if you've got the money for this car buy it definitely it's it's wonderful the heat pump is certainly worth the extra yeah. money but again how in reality how do you, how much do you really need yeah. that extra 30 miles of range how many people really need to say uncategorically yes I've got 30 miles of range yeah. now had Nissan bought this out with a 150 mile battery pack plus all the tech i would totally pay five ten thousand more oh, to for have that it. extra range yeah. you know but but as it is Not I'm, i've surprised myself because i was geeking out i was geeking out at the beginning of the week about this camera yeah and i was geeking out about the heated you seats. were we've got a minute long clip somewhere of yeah, you of driving around out. the car park going yeah, i can park exactly in the lines Thanks, Mark. That's okay. Um, but as it stands, meh. Meh. That's what I think. Tell us what you think and tell us how much you disagree with our review. Oh, yeah. I love it when people disagree. <laughs> I is... really do. It's, it's really good. I, I love conversations and I love people going, well, actually, I really think that is important. And that's what's so wonderful about where we're heading with EVs is that yeah. there's choice now. Yeah. point yes three and a two and a one and a bang oh, you stole my sink points <laughs>